all believed to be youngsters. Mad. The teenage driver is not only risking his own life, but his passengers as well. Crazy. Crazy. And the risks are rising. Through the streets. Boom, big tracks back with another one. Another episode of Police Interceptors, guys. Can we get 100 likes? Let's subscribe, comment, share the video out, please, and thank you. Thank you for your love and ongoing support as well, guys. All my overseas family, I love yous. All my family from the UK, I love yous. Let's get into it. Keep it short and sweet. Manners and respect every time. Hope you enjoy the watch. Boom. Go home. Shots fired. Crime never sleeps. Taser thinks. Ooh, but neither back. Stand still. do the cops. Back with another one. Yeah. Yeah. Battling on the front line. Taser! Ooh. Taser! Our Nottingham's finest. Not in game. We're not in drivers. game today. Specialists in entry. Not in game. Not in game. Come on. Search. Four ounces of cannabis. Rapid response Four ounces. firearms officers. On police! Show yourself now! Please for your dog stop, sir! And the crime stopping force. <laughs> Look at my arm! Ah. Of the dog unit. Get down on the floor! Wherever the battle takes them, they'll never back down. Because come at the hour. Yeah, Bass, we've still got him. Up at the back wheel, off side of the road. Come at the interceptors. Ooh. Where are you from? Leeds. Leeds. Don't come to Nottingham again, will you? Oh, shit. Coming up. On offside, now going on the centre of the carriageway. Right, the right performance car active. smashes its way through Nottinghamshire. I in place, not too old. Oh, he sent the car. Oh, There's weapons. Quite a selection of samurai swords. And weed for Gav. Ah, oh, beautiful. Stereo, stereo. And nicking a shoplifter. You want to arrest the shop for? Is high stakes stuff. Stop resisting! Get down on the floor! Oh, Stop the messing about! The narrator's a snub, you know. Find some steak on the floor and some high steak stuff. Fuck you now. Fuck you now. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching. Boom. Remember, I'm from Birmingham as well. This is like an hour and a half away. If you want to, I think it's fame to stop, fame to stop. He's just gone wrong side round the roundabout. I can't do it. It's uh, too much traffic. A high performance car is giving local cops the runaround. The back three or four up, the young males. But it's numbers up. Enter the interceptors. Go to the next left. Sergeant Jim Carrington and Lisa DeSantis are en route on the hurry up. We've literally just tipped out from their quarters because the local units picked up a red card for reasons. I'm going to say this again. Americans, cops is not better than police interceptors. If you're American and you watch this, you will be more interested watching this than your shit show cops. I promise you. Unknown to us has failed to stop on a couple of A roads up here north of the county. It was at high speed, obviously it's a high performance car. It's been followed by a local policing unit. I think they've lost the battle really. If so, we're all tipped out, served the road crime units. We're all tactical pursuit compliant, getting ourselves in the right place to see if we can pick it up. As Lisa races to intercept, the runaway is picked up by another unit. But its driver ups the ante. It's just rammed me. Oh, it's just rammed her. Ramming a cop cars put the fail to stop to the top of Knott's most wanted list. It's five stars, that is. <laughs> and five miles ahead of Lisa and Jim. The traffic unit has managed to catch up with the suspect on a rural road. And it doesn't look like he's heading out for a quiet country drive. The runaway misses an oncoming car by Ooh. millimeters. Ooh. The suspect vehicle has some serious horsepower, and the driver hits the gas. Guys, in the comments right now, what do you think is going to happen? Just, just type in the comments what you think is going to happen right now at this part. 
don't watch the rest just right now what do you think is going to happen then wait for the rest to come but the cops hang on as they approach a roundabout that almost a ton yo it's not long before the suspect's aggressive driving puts an innocent motorist in serious danger. The suspect motor smashes into the white car, forcing it off the road. Oh my the lead gosh. cop car has to abandon the pursuit to check for injuries. But waiting up ahead in an unmarked Volvo S60 is interceptor Gav Hall. Six, six, I've got that vehicle directly behind me. You can just be uh, get the lights on. Stand by, stand by. Incoming at three o'clock. Oh my six, god. We're pursuit. We are travelling towards the city of the 614. 155 mile per hour motor will be a handful for the most experienced driver, but the guy at the wheel is believed to be a teenager. Uh, making several overtakes. Speed is currently nine zero five zero. One wrong move is wet in its curtains. Dangerous driving though, but it's wet in. Interceptor units across the county are honing in using their vast road experience to best guess its escape route. Zulu 2, we're going to try and get down to Red Hill RA for a stinger. We're in Ravenshead. Just gone into Red Hill Island, mate. It's going south. While cops try to get ahead of him. Back at the sharp end, Gav's on the lad like a shadow. Uh, Volvo camera could now. be a bit better, though, man. Yeah. And he's now got back up behind. Second team, that unit the main junction. Four, four in the car, and they're all believed to be youngsters. Mad. The teenage driver's not only risking his own life, but his passengers as well. Crazy. Crazy. And the risks are rising. Through the streets of Nottingham, you know? Heading straight for built up areas and running out of time to get the runaway stopped on safe roads. Can we get the uh, tactical contact authorised, please? Tactical contact is only authorised in extreme situations, but a fail to stop teenager in a rapid car is seen as exceptional circumstances. Well, they're going towards the city. If it goes any closer, suitable location, I have to tactical contact it's at low speed. Yeah, Thank you. Low speed authority is all well and good. But the driver is showing no signs of slowing down for a nudge. Oh, he's wet in blood. Whatever the lad's done, he's desperate to avoid a face to face with the interceptors. He's making several erratic overtakes. It's still medium red. But it will take more than a few dodgy overtakes to shake Gav. 100% man, the cops just on it. Everything you do is on. The pursuit's now almost 10 minutes old, and it's rush hour. However, even the busy roads aren't slowing this boy racer down. Nah, that car's quick enough. Okay, it's just picking up though. motorway speeds in a 30. We're approaching heavy traffic. If he slows enough, the interceptors can use tactical contact. From offside, down the carriageway, now going on the centre of the carriageway. But will they stop him before he reaches Nottingham City Centre? He's going to kill someone. It's a mad chase, but. Radio 66, where's the suit? 
The interceptors are after a high-performance car that's rammed a local cop and failed to stop. The driver is believed to be a teenager and is leaving a trail of carnage in his wake. He's driving like an absolute idiot. They've got authority for a tactical contact, but only at low speeds. We're approaching heavy traffic. And despite the busy roads, the lad shows no signs of slowing. From offside, found the carriage way, now going out of the again, carriage way. Jim and other interceptor units try to get ahead. But with every mile, it gets busier and riskier. If the runaway reaches the city centre, they may have to abort the pursuit. He's going to kill someone. Offside, round two, keep left, bollard. A near miss with white van man. White van man. But an oncoming red Citroen doesn't get off so lightly. Ooh. It's crash, it's flight contact to an uh, oncoming vehicle. Stand by. It's a whisker away from a very messy head on. Impact seems to have slowed him down, and the interceptors spot their chance. The second pursuit car speeds in front. <coughs> While Gav makes tactical contact. Game over. Get it out! Go, 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 go! Put his hand out the window, man. I know he won't stop him, but. Driver and passengers are given a helping hand from the car. Here good stop. Occupant detained. No injuries, no injuries, minor damage. It's a successful end to a high-risk situation. The young driver's off to the cop car as Jim and Lisa arrive on scene. Why couldn't we have the camera watching that chase? Did you just see how Close, clear the camera was, no guys? Cigar, oh, my Lisa. gosh. Gutted we weren't on the back of that. It was coming down, mate. We'd have I popped know, out and fucked his lane for the stinger. The teenage driver isn't even old enough to hold a licence. Jim's been involved in a fair share of pursuits, but baby drivers left him shocked. I suppose when you get to the end of a pursuit like that, which was inherently dangerous in, in parts, I suppose you expect to see a really hardened criminal inside this car with the risk they're taking and the standards of driving they're displaying. And in this situation, what we find is a young lad who's been sick when he's been stopped by the police. His adrenaline would have been through the roof. His legs it's are fair shaking, to say, Gav, who was in the lead car for most of the pursuit, isn't impressed. He's taken a, a really sort of high-performance vehicle that maybe he's, he's not driven before. He doesn't seem that familiar with it. The manner of his driving, he nearly lost control of it a few times, suggests he shouldn't be driving it. He's not capable of driving it. That car's and, rapid. Uh, he's willing to take risks in it. And car's unfortunately, rapid. if he wants to risk his own life, that's one thing, but he's also putting the public at risk as well. Jim tries to get to the bottom of what's gone on. What about the police officer you crashed into then? An old man as well, apparently, on that round. And what about the cop you ran into to try and escape? Oh, at the bottom of the lane. Yeah, what about that? So you didn't care about injuring police officers then? I did, but in the moment, you just want to go, don't you? You think you're not going to get nicked? Look, with all due respect, mate, how stupid <laughs> are you? <laughs> Jim's not mincing his words, as it's a near miracle no one's been seriously injured. Mate, you're ramming cops, you're putting members of the public's lives at risk. Start thinking about your behaviour. Have a little think about it, yeah? No wonder you're throwing up. I'm just a bit shocked, to be fair. <laughs> and he's laughing. He's laughing. Chuckles didn't find it quite so Fought funny when the person. courts found him guilty of dangerous driving, taking without consent, failure to stop, and driving without a valid license Jeff or got insurance. Jeff got locked up, 100%. He served time, he has to have. Baby driver was banned for three years and got a detention and training order for eight months. Yo, you got off. You got off. You got off. In all the years I've been engaged in pursuits and dealing with criminals that are hell-bent on escaping, 
this one will stick off. in my memory for a fair bit because it's one of those really surprising ones where you see a young teenage lad taking ridiculous risks. Unbelievable, really. Nottinghamshire's interceptors police a population of around 1.1 million. But when criminals from other counties venture in, they're more than happy to bang them up as well. Nottingham. One increasingly used tool in their armory is the automatic number plate recognition system. We've got a countrywide AMPR system that we can log into because they will travel to commit crime. They know that the local cops in their area are going to be read out on where they're going, what they're doing. So they will travel across the border, like, for example, Leicestershire, Derbyshire. We border four forces. It's very easy for them to drop over onto us. So the cameras really do give us like the heads up on where they're heading. It will show us patterns, behaviours, and it will give us a bit of an insight into the way they're moving around the country. Interesting. Can I just make you aware of a vehicle that we're keeping an eye out for today? Knife crime team members Sergeant Johnny Groves and Chantel McDowell have their eyes peeled for a white Renault Kangoo. Kangoo. We saw it yesterday What's that at the back of a disqualified driver's house, but hanging around it was a different nominal. He's wanted for burglary for a dwelling on Derbyshire, and we saw him stood in front of that van. Believed to be just out of prison on licence, the suspect should be keeping his head down, not driving a dodgy van with false plates. Up until four or five days ago, it was hitting all the city cameras and then now started hitting Ashfield cameras. The vehicles left a trail of breadcrumbs for the cops and they're hungry for this bloke's collar. Eyes down for ANPR bingo. Yeah, part of the it. Oh, it's just here, it's sort of eastbound. Pinged a and PRs are dangerous. Pinged a camera downtown. <laughs> Firearms traveling. This ex nursery nurse once sent the dog unit after a mannequin. She mistook for a burglar. The interceptor may have failed to recognize a dummy in the dark, but there's nothing wrong with her eyesight today. Chantel's caught right, the red van on the opposite side of the carriageway. I didn't know it was a van. But transit. Traffic. And age just gone off side to off side with it. It's stuck in traffic. We've um, not made it obvious, so we'll spin round to try and get a follow on it. They're in a marked car and don't want to spook the suspect, who has previous for failing to stop and ramming cop cars. One occupant, part of his jacket. The he ain't gonna want to go back to jail. Units in place before making their move. Johnny pulls a Yui and lets the X5 off the lead. We can't see the minute we've spun around trying to catch up with it. The driver may have made them and taken off, but he's soon back in their crosshairs. There's Pete, man. An H is at the Cotsmoor Road. It's on top, but that. It's, it's on lights. top. It looks like it's going to be a right, right. Where are you, Matt? On route a few miles away. Just passing uh, KMH. H, how many vans drive a T-Pack Stinger in a plane vehicle? Uh, where do you want me, Chantal? Our fellow members of the knife crime team, Matt Stora and Paul Kingo Kingston. Uh, yeah, join us. We're on Cotsmore Road. The team is closing in. Why for Cotsmore Road? Why for that? Why for that? Big why. Back with Chantel and Johnny. You can have a stop on it when we've got sufficient resources to do that. The bloke's chances of getting away are decreasing by the second. Matt and Kingo in the unmarked Volvo arrive and take the lead. As a driver, you're always checking your mirrors, so you already know. Point in front of the car to box this van. 
they're a cop car short of a tactical box. Until a firearms unit joins the party. Can it, uh, directly behind you? With three units on scene. The left lap is the hospital is for. Hey, the van's guided down a side road, and the suspect doesn't fancy a pursuit today. Massive. Stop, stop. Quicker than you can say your nick, mate. Chantel's got him cuffed. Stop out of here. Very nice. Anyone else in the van, mate? No, no. Mate, he's stabbing himself with a cigarette. This is great. This is great. This is great. You got it on you, haven't you? No, no. So uh, you're under a suspicion of a dwelling burglary. Where in? At Matlock. I don't know Matlock. the at this time, I'll let you know. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. You don't mention my question, something which later on in court. Anything you do say, maybe going to have an interest stand. Yeah. Right, buddy. Just pop your butt in there and swing your feet in. Is there anything in the van, mate, that we need to know about? No, nothing at all. Nothing apart from bolt cutters, some other tools and a couple of needles. <laughs> Just, they're just going to get rid of the needles in the hospital and then they're going to drive the van back and then we'll give it a proper search Not there. the bolt cutters. Oh, my gosh. One detained gosh. on suspicion of burglary. It certainly beats banging up mannequins. Luckily, because of NPR network, it means that we've literally been out 10 minutes and it's hit the camera um, and we've helped from some colleagues. We've, uh, we've managed to locate it and get him stopped. So he's, um, as we said earlier, he's, he's wanted for a burglary in Derbyshire, so uh, it looks like a fairly tidy job. Man had bolt cutters on the seat, you know. The van and suspect are off to Mansfield Nick. He'll be interviewed by Derbyshire detectives. The guy back here is all mate under the chassis. While Kingo and Matt give the vehicle a proper search. There we go. Yeah, he's in some red here, mate. Kingo's found the original plates. Oh, oh. It seems the van could have been nicked. Oh. See where they've attacked it. You got these fence all marked. It looks like effectively just got a screwdriver, a crate, but I'll get it behind. Start prizing it, open brute force. It's been a successful job for the interceptors. Thanks in no small part to the technology at their disposal. No way. It's another example of us sharing information and having access to the same system so we can see that he's wanted for jobs on another force. Um, and like I say, because of the AMPR technology, it just means that as soon as he comes into Knott's, we know he's coming and we can sort of sort out a welcoming party and get him potted, which is what we've done today. I am. For burglary, disqualified driving, no insurance and number plate offences, Van Man got two years and four months behind bars and was disqualified for seven years. AMPRs are no game. If you know you ain't got no insurance, I'm telling you, AMPRs are no game. Still to come. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Oh, this one's open as well. A suspected dealer's phone and the riddle of the texts. Anything from today? Yeah. Same what? People asking him for Z. Yeah. And there's a wake-up call. Deep breath. For a suspected drink driver. Right, fail. We've done 66. Fuck you, now, man. So I just smoke my tobacco and stay in Not my yard these days. Not all shit. Saw wall-to-wall action. <laughs> oh, something happened. Big asteroid comes down, <laughs> wipes out, say hands. But Gav Hall and Joe Riley know their day can turn on a sixpence. I bet he's a dealer, I've had him pee-wits. They've spotted an empty car belonging to an old pal of Gav. Guys, just to um, let you know, there's a golf park that comes back to somebody that I had for a cannabis peewits about two years ago. Two years ago, there's you intel know. from this year again that he's still dealing drugs. Time to call in the troops. Ken, Matt, are you all right to cover up that way if he leaves? Yeah, we're on route, mate. Temple. 
if this car moves off, we should have both ends of the street covered. One of our cars can pick it up. Wow. And it could be a decent little stop. With the Golf's escape routes covered, all they need now is the Golf. <sighs> wow. That's not it. That'd be boring. Wow. But that is. Hey, there he is. There he is. There he is. That vehicle is off, off, off. It's one up. Game on. Are you going for a stop straight away? Or yes. No, we'll go for a stop straight away. The driver looks to have clocked their mark car. Wait, he's, he's yeah, looking. No, that's what I'm thinking. But he's seen sense. Wow. You all right? Turn that music off and for us, pal. Hmm. Just got the cheers running, no, you know. And its friends reunited. Jump over here for us, kid. You all right? You know. Intel, you're still dealing cannabis. Who is? That's what the intel says. Like who? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to ask you now. You got any cannabis on you? No, I haven't, mate. I'm going to get you searching the misuse of drugs mate. act. All right, mate. The suspect claims to have no drugs. How much money is there? But well, there's a wedge of cash. Keep your hands where I can see him, pal, please. Sergeant Matt and Ken Tinley arrive, and the team soon locate an item of interest. Sorry. Yeah, just a oh. bit of cannabis from the, uh, the door pocket. Judging from the driver, there may be more to come. He's very nervous, mate, I tell you. Shaking and sweating. Gav's a fan of TV's forensic detectives, but you won't find him rocking a lab coat. He prefers to get his hands dirty. There's got to be something in here, or it's down his pants. Here we go. Is this the suspect's secret stash? Here we go, what's this? Oh, sweet. There's nothing in the car for them, so what they're doing so long in the car. I mean, look in there. Sweet Tooth is still sweating. Either he's OD'd on opal fruits or something else is making him nervous. Yeah, it's, it's not, not over, not overdose on Starburst. What is this narrator on? Oh my gosh. He's left his mobile unlocked and it seems he's a popular boy. Anything from today? Yeah. Same what? People asking him for Zed. Yeah. Asking him for Zed. All of that panic is over that phone. Yeah. There's another phone here. Oh, this one's open as well. Yeah. Even this one's loaded, mate. Look, there's loads on here. Just give your hands to them, dude. There's enough to nick him for suspected supply. You're under arrest on suspicion of possession with intent to supply cannabis. That one bag of cannabis in the car. It's probably not the only bag he's got. I dare say when we get to his address, there'll be more there. Now it's just a case of finding where he lives. Long. Gonna find any more when we search your address. Yeah. But bloke's got a cunning plan. Dad, take you one from here. I'm sleeping in my car. You're sleeping in your car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not worth me searching it then. No, it's not worth searching it because uh, it's not worth searching his own address. He's living in his car now. He's played his hand and gone all in, but the interceptors are ready to call his bluff. Stick him in that van, yeah. They found a set of keys in the golf and a clue to which door they'll fit on the mobile. Oh, oh, sad. Oh. Yeah, I hope that perhaps there's something Boxy, on the phone and when you man. look at his timeline and it's on, on, his, on his Google Maps, uh, the same address to uh, were you here? The address is near to where they first spotted his car. We don't know if he's living in one of these, we're going to just uh, check. They've also intel that a man known to the police is renting out a room at the property. Oh, right there, so it's close enough, isn't it? Who's giving them this intel? Like, where? Or what? How? Like, what is going on? Straight opposite, yeah. Like the prince armed with Cinderella slipper, Gav hopes the house key is a match. Yeah, it fits. It fits, but this story won't end with he lived happily ever after. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. I've got stop in here and we've got information that he's stopping here just is he staying in a spare room he comes on blocks now then yes right okay right is he is it like a rental agreement or yeah 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 he's a he's here for a little money on any hot so right. is there anything in here that he shouldn't have what do you mean well the 
basically they've got an, getting an authority to search on section 18 apace. So I'm just asking if there's anything that shouldn't be here, that's all, pal. I'll just show you the room where, where he's yeah. The team's welcomed in. I'll show you the room that he's in. He, 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 he. Yes, mate. But it's not just the suspect's room they'll be searching. You know, because he's got a key for the front door and he's obviously got this room here, we will have to search throughout. It's not long before they sniff something dodgy. Chad. Hello. Stick your head in here. Tell me what you start smell. Smell weed? Yeah. Gab's nose strikes again. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah. Oh. Four ounces of cannabis. He was obviously very nervous when we came in, but here we are. Cannabis. So he'll be coming in for possession with intent to supply cannabis as well, and we'll carry on searching and season. Ken breaks the good news. I'm afraid we found around four ounces of cannabis in a, in a box or all right, so I'm going to have to arrest you on suspicion of possession of cannabis with intent to supply, all right. The search continues to bear fruit. Everyone ounces, in the yard. In oh, my bag. gosh. Two, three, another four ounces there. We're up to eight ounces. You got of everyone in the yard back. No way. Eight ounces is over a grand's worth of weed. It is. Wow. Oh. Cash. A set of digital scales. And they've got cannabis on them as well. And where there's drugs, there's often weapons. Boy, he's took a fat al. Samurai swords. He's took a fat al. What's all the weapons about? Police style asp. We'll seize that, we'll take that. It's been a good result for the cavalry in this twisted fairy tale. Both suspects have been charged with possession with intent to supply a controlled drug. The suspect of the house was charged with possession of a weapon in private, but faced no further action in court. Wow. All from Intel, you know. I will admit now I've drunk it. I've drunk a 35 milliliter bottle of whiskey. I love you. Drink driving is one of the biggest dangers on UK roads. Is that what you've been drinking whilst on the motorway? No, that's what I drank before I set off. Right. With even small quantities of alcohol affecting driving ability. Your driving's awful. You're swerving from lane to lane. You're stopping, you look like they nearly stalled it. I can smell drink on you. How much have you had? I've had two pints. And over 200 people are killed each year by those driving under the influence. Yeah, the crashes from drink drivers. Drunk drivers are mad stuff. So, when it comes to dealing with drunks at the wheel... And that's a fail, you've blown 93, OK? The interceptors have zero tolerance. I've done this job for 21 years, and the carnage that I've seen through drink driving... You have to do your job. Oh, yeah. Because if somebody ran your mum over who was drunk, you'd want me to, wouldn't you? Why am I hitting them with a the point still? It's kicking out time on Friday night. Prime time for drink oh, driving. You fucking hell. What we a way to pull it, man. Jen Els and the team are after a Renault Espace that's apparently failed to stop for officers earlier in the evening. Drink driver, drunk drivers usually just drive oh, away as well. Or they just get, end up the getting off the may have scene. given cops the slip, but they've got his reg and 11,000 ANPR cameras. It is possibly closed. Um, there have been hits in Cambridge, but then no hits again until the 17th. They're knocking them when it's back together. It looks like it's a claimed vehicle, so it's not fake. It's trying hard its identity, basically. The suspected very active. cloned car that's apparently failed to stop would be a tidy collar. So they call in nearby units, and it's not long before a dog handler spots the escape. Duffy's behind it. That scold is fire. Keeps his distance and guides the team in. Fire card. So if you're on the A610, up to BQ Island, left at Morrison's and follow it round, you might get in front of me. Right, that's where we're going. Jen might be a specialist dog handler with a commendation for work with her canine Quantum, but she's also an advanced driver. And she's with Duffy in no time. It's off, off. It's remaining left-hand lane. It's straight on to Church Street. We will stay out of the way, because Duffy's got the lead on this, so... I am in a marked car, but he's not particularly reactive to me, still doing 30. 
The driver apparently failed to stop earlier tonight, but seems oblivious to the cop car convoy behind him. He's gone around about ask him that way. He's going to be a drink driver, maybe. Still uh, dropping between 30 and 40 mile an hour. It's doing nothing too outrageous. However, he's got a sudden need for speed. Up to uh, 85, about to enter the 50s. I don't expect him to slow down for it. He's getting on. And they now join a dual carriageway. He is now accelerating up to uh, 100. Two other units, including an unmarked, join oh. proceedings via a slip road. The plan to perform a team. Nah, these are new too tactical, man. The police are too tactical. How are they just synced on the motorway like that at that time? The driver randomly slows and they spot their window. What cars here? There'll be no escape this time. Just past Ikea, boxed in like a flat pack. But this geezer in this car was doing over a one of Quantum's keen to play fetch. You know his steering wheel was shaking. Wait. Wait. But the tinny toting passenger <laughs> is in no state to run. Get out the car! And the driver's in an even worse state. Out the car. Get here. Face down. Put your hands behind your back. Watch your hands behind your back. Quantum keeps an eye on them. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Good lad. I just wanted to get home. <laughs> As Paul Charlesworth does the honours. You're under arrest for failing to stop from dangerous no. driving. You don't have to stop him, but it may on the defence. Do not mention any questions? Early, Put you later on in court. You didn't do it early, Anything did you? Anything you do, see maybe giving evidence. You're lucky we didn't smash the window. Just follow me for a second, please. Any more laid back and he'd be asleep. Hey, that bimmer's in front's looking neat, though. He's just an idiot. I mean, he's clearly drunk, but he's just... I mean, oblivious to it all, just doesn't seem to have a care in the world. So, uh, it just strikes me as an absolute idiot, to be fair. <laughs> and so, and done the minute. Show. Although, his clothes are soaking with beer, there's cans of beer in the car. He stinks of it. His car is like a pub on wheels. <sighs> I've got plenty of reasons to think you've had a drink, because you stink of it, your beer in your coat pocket and all sorts. And you've also committed a road traffic offence, which gives me a power to request a specimen breath. All right, have you had anything to eat or drink in the last 20 minutes? Yeah, I've had a drink, yeah. What did you have? Uh, a can off my mate. Yeah, a can off your mate? Yeah. What was that? Oh, ten minutes ago. His blood alcohol levels could still be rising. Right, take a nice deep breath, give him a steady blow. Wakey, wakey! Take a nice nah. deep, deep breath, give him a steady blow into this tilt-tilt-tilt. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it, thank you. And surprise, surprise. All right, it's fair. We've blown 66. Right, so you're further under arrest. That's almost twice the drink driving. It's not limit. as bad as I thought he was going to be. I just believe that he's driving without the charcoal no, in the system. I thought he was going to be in the hundreds. The wheel, head on into another vehicle at 110 mile an hour, combined speed of, what is it, 50, 160? It's game over, isn't it? Being boozed up isn't the only issue. He's disqualified driver as well on the system. This is one menace they're delighted to get off the roads. Now his trainers are looking Sleepy kind of tired. Sleepyhead pleaded guilty to dangerous what, driving and driving above the alcohol limit while disqualified and uninsured. He was banned from driving for a further three years and put behind bars for 14 months. No further action was taken for the suspected cloned plates. Fucking hell, man. Coming up. He's done what? Shoplifted. John and Macca go after the meat snatcher. Oh, there he's coming. Guys, please like, share, subscribe, man. If you've made it this far in the video, it's estimated 5% so of British adults have shoplifted. Pocket there, dropped into a skirt underneath. Conceals the, the stolen goods underneath the long skirt. Mad.
There are a staggering 1,000 shoplifting offences committed every day in the UK, with over half of these going unpunished. Mad. Certainly within our force area, uh, and I've no doubt across the whole UK, shoplifting is still uh, massive, really. It tends to be people funding the habit that we come across, uh, so they'll nick, um, if it's food stuffs or drink stuffs, it, it's, uh, you know, it, steaks and bacon and the like stuff that they can sell on and then obviously use their the proceeds to to feed what un unfortunate habit they've uh, they've got what color is that course mate? It's silver, silver yeah it's saturday afternoon wow. i thought we'd have seen it by now on John Lee and Paul Macca McClintock's shopping list is a vehicle that's pinged an ANPR camera. The occupants inside are a pair of well-known shoplifters. No course in the drive through But there's better look outside the M&S. There it is. She's driving. Yeah. Brake light out. Spin out, so they do. Hmm. Macca's got a hunch. He's probably just doing a shop theft now in Mark Suspensers. And by the looks of it, he's spot on. What's happening? Is that him? That's, yeah, that's... Is he getting... Let's see what they're saying. Yeah, are you watching him? Yeah. He's done what? Shoplifted. Is he getting in that car? Into the car park. The suspects legged it with a load of stakes. Ooh, that's narrow. He's not coming in. And the boys are desperate to meet him. Is there anybody uh, near Bridgeford? A shop worker in hot pursuit. Oh, there he's running, it's running. Makes way for the pros. Oh, Stay off! Stay off! Get out! Oh, you are allowed all that? What are you doing? This is not just shoplifting. Uh, what Come are you here. doing? Stay here. Hands behind your back. You're under arrest for shop theft. This is M&S shoplifting. All right. We'll do it. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Get down on the floor. Stop messing about. Ooh. What are you doing? On? Stop messing about. I'll drop on the floor. Put your hands behind your back. This meathead's hands are where they belong. Sort. Right, bring your knees up, sit up, sit on the curb. There's six packets of steak and, in the interest of a balanced diet, a pizza. Can I have about, some offers about to 20 it, quid, man. To Give you all of that for 20 Back quid. Arrives. Right, switch engine. But it's not for the cops, oh. it's the silver courser. Switch engine off, stop. Right, oh, 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 oh. All right. He's with you, isn't he? No. Yes, he is. Right. He's not with me. Right. Go and grab a seat in the back of our car. While Macca manages the meat snatcher. What are you doing? John handles Miss Corsa. If I look in our cameras and he's not going to be in your car? No. Right. Duffy arrives to lend a hand. Last time you had a full inflatable kayak, didn't you? Them from the Oh, yeah. <laughs> it seems Mr. Meat is quite the thief about town. Thank you. Right, mate, you also wanted for theft at Sainsbury's um, on the 21st of this month. All right, so you're also under arrest for that one. You don't have to say anything, but maybe I'm just going to mention my questions to me later on in court. Anything you do say, maybe give you the evidence. All right, buddy. And there's a breach of court order outstanding as well. Fuck you now. It's mate. a balancing act for Duffy. Look at that, eh? as John and Macca conduct a search. We want you to stand up, and then I'm going to do a quick search on you to make sure you've got nothing else in your pockets. Yeah, what is it? Hey? A pipe. You got any pins on you? No. Is there anything in it? Oh, man. Right, mate, mate, carry on. I'm just going to put the cuss behind your back and it's going to hurt again, isn't it? There's nothing else on the suspect. And while the lady's free to go, he's got a date with the Nick. You got any COVID symptoms or anything like that? Mm -hmm. You had it in the past? Yeah, I've got it. You got... Have you? Yeah. You think you've got it? 
Anyone with suspected COVID gets to make their own special entrance. The COVID door. But his symptoms don't appear too bad. What are you doing? Hey. 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 Well, Shouldn't smoke if you've got COVID, it's bad for you. And so is shoplifting. Yeah, just in that cell there, buddy. Meat Thief was found guilty of shop theft and fined £40. He got a four-week prison term suspended for 12 months. Purloin sirloin again and his rump is cooked. Six sirloin steaks worth 100 quid and then a three quid pizza for his, uh, for his kids. So it's, it's not like he's gone in to nick a meal because he's hungry. He's gone in to nick a load of steaks that he can sell to fund his drug habit and that's the sad thing about it. Mad.